we had a pretty good windstorm, thunderstorm the other night. Took these two limbs off. Off a big oak tree down here at the barn. And luckily it dropped them right in the middle of nowhere. So it didn't hurt a thing other than we got some big old gap gaping holes up here. There's one. I'll see if I zoom in. There's where one of them split off. So now we got a big hole all on this side. And well, the other one. I'm not sure where exactly where it come from, but it's from up there too somewhere. So now, now I've got a bunch of limbs to get rid of, and I already had a bunch of limbs to get rid of, and uh, so my mom wants this for firewood. She don't realize it's water oak, and uh, sometimes water oak don't burn very well, but. I'm going to get out here and I'm going to cut her up some firewood out of it because it's a little too big to, <clears throat> to not cut to uh, just, you know, throw on a pile somewhere. it take forever before it's just rot, but anyway, let's get busy and get some firewood cut. Alright, well this is the saw I'm going to be using to cut these limbs up. It's a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. And uh, as you can see, I've got to do a little bit of adjustment on my chain. I put a new chain on here oh, I don't know six months ago I might have used it a couple of times three or four times but that chain stretches and it gets loose and if it's that loose you go to cut, it's just going to mess up with you so I'm going to turn it I don't have my daggum tripod with me but I'm going to turn it up on the edge, on the end got a little bench here my new slider went up in here, but uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just loosen these two bolts, and then this right here is the tensioner. You can turn that, and it'll pull that bar in or out. So we want to push the bar out to tighten the chain up, and if <clears throat> there's not enough room in there to do that. Then we'll loosen these up a little more. We'll loosen this up and we'll pull that bar out by hand and then tighten them back down a little bit. So, let's see if I can get a place here in my battery. I don't know if it's going to last off the whole time, but I'm not going to show a video of me cutting this wood because, you know, that'd be kind of boring. But uh, I will try to show you the aftermath and whatever, get it cleaned up, whatever. But. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show you that set best I can. Kind of hard to do with no tripod. Alright, that's a pretty good shot right there. So there's the boat. Now I got to find my daggum. I don't know where my little tool that come with this saw is. We're gonna try to get it with some wrench and find the right size. Half inch, or probably 13 millimeters since it's not made in America, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna loosen these up just a couple rounds. too much. I don't want I don't want to be slack. Sometimes these things will have a tendency to tighten up more when you tighten them bolts down than what you meant to to start with. So I like to pull it <clears throat> when I pull it when I get it ten tension here, I like to be able to pull but not pull it all the way out of the guide. Alright. <clears throat> so now I'm going to tighten these back down. And I'm going to have to. Yeah, 13 probably worked a little better. Yeah. 
Now, I want to check again. See, now, I can pull it about the same way. I want to make sure it's got, you know, feels good. It's not too tight. You don't want a tight chain. <clears throat> uh, you don't want a loose chain. You want to be able to pull it. Well, this might be just a little bit looser than I need, but it it probably be alright. But really, you won't be able to pull it and not see it come out of the out of the guide. But you don't you want to be able to pull some slack in it. Is what I'm trying to say. So this this chain is is pretty pretty sharp already. I haven't cut much with it. It's, it's brand new. I'm not going to sharpen it. But you always want to make sure when you take if you take a chain off to sharpen it, you want to make sure the cutting edge is facing you know towards the end of the bar because the chain's going to run this way. So if, if you got your bar on backwards, if you if you're trying to cut with this, you ain't doing no good. Now these right here will actually these things here clean out your saw kerf in the wood cleans it out and then that cuts it and then that and cleans it out and then that cuts it well, this one cleans it out this one cuts it and then this one cleans that out and that one cuts it so that's what that's what that's for it don't actually cut it just cleans out the, the kerf and the, the wood where you're sawing <clears throat> and now I got that ready I'll turn it over this way Move, move my tools out of the way. And I'm ready to check gas and oil. Now this is a mixture. And this is about empty. And what I typically do is I go and I gotta go get my gas but I'll be right back. I got my gas had on back of the truck so. <clears throat> what I typically, I like to buy that steel chain mix or gas mix. It's I think it's 50 to 1. It comes in a little old bitty bottle about the high and you just mix it with a gallon of gas. <clears throat> you can get it with synthetic oil or synthetic blend I believe, whatever. It's already got your fuel stabilizers in it so it's, it'll keep for a while. And uh, just about any two cycle engine runs pretty good. Don't and I can get this top off in one hand. There we go. About any two cycle engine runs good with this new uh, new style mix, 50 to 1 mix. Uh, a lot of the old two cycle engines, you had to mix it 16 to 1, but the oil you mix with it didn't lubricate as good as the newer oils do so you can actually uh, use 50 to 1 new mix in an old saw that calls for 16 to 1 so fill that up now oh my camera camera ship skill ain't too good but anyway now ball Uh, I always use bar oil and I keep in this little metal cabinet here. Bar and chain oil, SAE30. Uh, it's not the same as SAE30 motor oil. It's, it's sticky. Uh, it helps it stick to the chain. And uh, I ain't got a whole lot get some more but don't use motor oil <clears throat> if you do you're probably gonna burn the chain up you know as a last ditch effort I might I might use motor oil but it would probably be a a little thicker oil and uh, and I don't know if I got any more bar oil like I said I don't use much of it but
Oh, dollar bowl. Oh, yeah, there's some. Chain bar and sprocket oil. Troll belt. That come with my little, uh, my little pole saw attachment for my weed eater. So I'll use this and then I'll have to get some. Typically, what you'll find is uh, if it's set right and there's adjustment, oil adjustment on most of these up under that first that plate, the oil adjuster, damn, I'm all over the thing. You can typically find under this plate, this, and you want to you want to set it up where it uses, it you know. For every tank of gas you use, you use a tank of, of bar oil. If you don't, if you're using too little bar oil, then it's probably going to burn your bar up. If you're using too much, you're basically just wasting oil. But that's typically what they want. And I've never touched this one. It's, I've had this saw about three years, three or four years now. And, uh, I've never, I've never adjusted. It does typically use a little less oil than gas, but <clears throat> I did mess up my chains. So I don't have a good chain uh, sharpener here. I got to get one, but I messed, I my chain up pretty bad, so I just went and bought me a chain for it. Kept the old one. All right, so I'm gonna put on some hearing protection and some uh, safety glasses, and I'm gonna just start cutting. Now on this saw, it's got a compression release right here. Push that in, and then you're you got a priming bulb. Give that about three or four licks, and then you got a kill switch and a choke. Pull the choke out, kill switch up. Now she's ready to crank. So I'm gonna get her crunk and I'm gonna go cut wood and I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, got her cut up, uh, got the big stuff cut. What I could get to, I didn't want to get up in that mess and start falling down, but uh, the sun's kind of bright this morning, but I got it cut down to these, these little limbs. I'm gonna load these limbs on the trailer and haul them over there to our limb pile. And mama can get her, get her firewood. Uh, I got one more big one up there at my grandmother's house, but I don't know. I might have to drag it down here and cut it up. But I think right now I'm gonna hook up to the trailer and start loading these limbs. So appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video.